Hi, it's Andy. This video is going to be how to clean condenser coils on your GE side-by-side -side refrigerator. This one has apparently never been cleaned. It's in a pretty sorry shape. We're also going to remove the defrost drain line. Make sure that that's clear. A couple things to keep in, keep in mind. First of all, make sure your refrigerator is unplugged. Secondly, uh, these copper lines have refrigerant running through them. So don't torque on these or bend them. Work around them. Be gentle with those. The tools that you'll need for this job could vary. Uh, things that I found that work well is Shrek's toothbrush. That's seen some mileage. For this particular style of fridge, I really like New Calgon New Blast 4290-75. Uh, be ready because it costs about 30 bucks a can. It's not cheap, but it does get to all the nooks and cranny, kind of dissolves that dust away. You'll see that if you clear back this dust, you can see there's dust under the dust. So there's actually several different layers to this condenser coil. There's also a back side, it's, it's round. So another tool that I found that works really well is one of these brushes that's designed for cleaning out lint from your dryer. Reason being is you can bend this to get to the back side of that coil as best as you can. Doesn't have to be 100% clean, but this is in sad shape. Um, and it's very important because this is where your refrigerator bleeds off its heat. So if this is dirty as it is, it will run the compressor for much longer than it has to and it shortens the life of your refrigerator. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove the defrost drain line. It's this tube that's bent. has a clip down at the bottom. Pull towards you as you're lifting up on that clip gently. And then we're going to pull straight down on this tube. What you can do now to make sure it's not clogged is blow through it. Don't tell my wife I did that. That gives us a little bit better access to the condenser coil, which is covered with junk. And what we'll do is just start by knocking off as much of the dust as we can. You should put this on your annual list to stay on top of. You can see a uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure with this particular job. Okay, so once you've got as much as you can off with the brushes, and that's quite a lot, I'm going to take my condenser spray. I'm going to change the camera angle just a bit so I don't hit the camera with this uh, nasty smelling goodness. It says it's a pleasant citrus scent. Far away it smells good. Up close it's repugnant. So all I'm going to do is spray uh, this new blast on this coil. And there, you see it does a really good job. Gets to the second, third layer if there is one and knocks the majority of the dust off. Lastly, we're going to reinstall the defrost drain line. Knock as much of the dust off as I can. 
If yours is clogged, typically it's going to be right here. And as I mentioned, you can blow it out with compressed air or your lungs if you're gross like me. Uh, you can run water down through here to try and flush it out, shake it around, blow through it again. Uh, again, doesn't have to be perfect, but it does need a continuous flow where the water basically it collects here. And as water fills in this tube, it pushes it out over the top. Try and get you a better angle so you can see the reinstall. I wanted to show you the nub that the defrost drain line plugs into. This is pointed towards the ground from the inside of the cabinet. To reinstall, just reverse order. And then we're going to clip the bottom of the defrost drain line into the clip on the bottom of the cabinet. And there it is. One clean condenser coil. It's not perfect. It is much better. Also, we cleaned out the drain line, and there we have it. That's how you clean a condenser coil on a GE side-by-side -side refrigerator, and also clean out the drain line for the defrost. Hope it helped you. Thanks for watching.